we're going to talk about how to create a rotoscoped animation in Photoshop. Now, rotoscoping is a technique that dates back to the early days of cinema when animators would actually trace live action footage projected by a frame by frame onto paper, um, either to use the motion as reference or to directly copy into their work. It's a great way to get started in motion design because you can incorporate captivating movement pretty quickly without having to know all the principles of animation. So to create a rotoscope animation in Photoshop, the first thing that we're going to do is create a blank document. So I'm going to go to File, New. Now I'm going to create a document, I already kind of have the preset here, that's 500 pixels by 500 pixels with a 300 pixel inch resolution set in RGB. So I'm going to create this new document. The next thing that I'm going to do is open the timeline panel. To do this, I'm going to go up to window and I'm going to come down and check timeline. So now that I can see the timeline panel down at the bottom, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to click create video timeline. It's right here. It should be default right in the middle of the timeline panel. Once we've done that, we need to go over to the little hamburger icon, menu icon at the upper right corner of the timeline panel and go to set timeline frame rate. Uh, it's going to set to default 30 frames per second, um, but what we're going to actually set it to is 10 frames per second. Um, anything less than 10 will start to kind of make the animation look choppy, so 10 is probably a really good place to start. So we're going to press OK. I'm going to come down here to the status bar and zoom in a little bit. Next, what we're going to do is we're actually going to bring in the video that you want to rotoscope. So I'm going to go to File, Place Embedded, and I have located my video, and I'm going to place it in my document. So now I'm going to scale it as needed. Oops. Do it one more time. Stuff happens, it's okay. Um, Roxy's birthday place. I'm gonna scale it up so it fits in the square. So this video is actually of my dog on her 12th birthday eating her cake. All right, so I'm gonna press the check mark. Everything looks good. So now I've imported my video into Photoshop. And next we're going to have to start to create a new layer so that we can start um, tracing this video. So to do that, we're actually not going to create a new layer like we traditionally would. We're going to go up to layer in the menu um, bar. And then we're going to go to video layers, create. Um, we're going to do create a new blank video layer. So once we do that, now we can start tracing the frames of the video. So you can see here in the timeline, it did create a layer one um, video layer. So to do this, we can go ahead and set our foreground to black using the brush tool or any other color that you want to use. Um, next, we're going to use the brush tool or pencil tool, whatever you would like to use and we're just going to start drawing the outlines of each frame. So I'm not actually using a drawing tablet. If you have a drawing tablet, this is gonna make your life so much easier, but I'm just using the trackpad, trackpad on my MacBook. So I'm just going to start kind of tracing this image. I'm gonna do it very quick and loose. It's do not judge my tracing abilities on this video. This is just for demonstration purposes. <laughs> tracing her ear. Tracing the eye. All right. Put some dots here. And 
zoom in a little bit so that I can get a better idea of what I'm doing. It's not the most beautiful, but it'll get the point across. Trace the cake. Gotta get the headband. I'm gonna actually minimize my brush just a little bit. So yeah, this video was of my dog, Roxy, on her 12th birthday. It was a quarantine birthday in 2020, but she still did enjoy her day. All right, so we're going to get down here. All right, so I have my first frame traced, everything that I want included into the frame. Next, we're gonna wanna to progress to the next frame. To do this, you can use the playhead here, or you can actually click the button next to the play button to go to next frame. So once you do that, then you start the process all over and start tracing frame by frame by frame. Um, this can get very time consuming depending on how long your video is. Um, so you may opt to kind of get to a stopping point. Um, so at this point, I'm actually going to stop my commentary and I'm going to um, continue rotoscoping this video and then I'll be back to um, tell you what to do on your final steps. Now that you've traced as much as you'd want to trace, the next step is to turn off the video, the original video layer. Um, so hide the visibility of that layer. So then you should be able to see your outlines, your traces, um, whatever you did for your method. So I'm actually going to go back to the beginning. I'm going to jump to the first of the frame and I'm going to play my animation, my rotoscoped animation. All right, so I did my first rotoscope animation. It all looks great. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to crop it because I actually didn't do the entire video. So I'll make sure that I crop it, taking this timeline to the very end, my very last frame. Then next what I'm going to do is it's very similar to saving your GIF. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, Export, save for web. Um, we're going to set to the GIF 128 dithered. We can set the colors a little bit higher to the 256. And then set the looping options to forever. And then save. And then we will call it, name our file, 
proxy rotoscope. Save. So that is how you save an animated rotoscope and you create an animated rotoscope in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.